Because of the sun. Come on. Shazam butterfly. You don't see very many of those around here. Oh, and there's a there's a green belly leel bat. I never have seen one of those before. I thought they were extinct. A green belly leel bat. Whoa. And there's the Shazam butterfly. This is a very rare opportunity to film some of nature's most reclusive beings. Look how they fly and flap and dance. Shazam the butterfly is visiting his turtle friends. I just saw one of the turtles open their eye and And the green-bellied leo bat is just hovering around, waiting for some food to come his way. But I wonder, does the green-bellied leo bat eat Shazam butterflies? It's one of nature's most epic battles. Who will win? Sorry, he keeps stepping on my toes. Who will win? Who's the hungriest? Now, do hugs. Wait a minute. Science was wrong all this time. They're not enemies. They're not predator and prey. They are BFFs. What a thrilling documentary. Oh look, he's doing a little dance for us. The green-bellied leo bat. Oh, is he flying off into the meadow? He seems to be getting stuck on those, that wall of flowers. Is there a secret cone flower in, invisibility shield? He's gonna make himself tired doing that, but they do that to, sometimes to cool off, sometimes to scare off predators, and sometimes just for fun. like the end of the season and therefore the end of the life cycle of the Shazam butterfly. We're very happy that we got to see one this year. It may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. But sadly, he must go back to the earth. And now the, the Leo bat is cuddling up for a nice afternoon nap after a fun day of flapping and playing in the meadow. These bats are rare because they often sleep and play during the day, unlike most bats. He's waking from his quick slumber, his quick afternoon slumber. Now he's just looking for a little afternoon snack, and then he's going to go on his way to the bat birthday party.